Meet the smallest and cutest animals in the world, from miniature snakes and frogs to the tiniest but still mean hippopotamus. Here are 12 of the tiniest animals in the world you want to meet. If you like this video, subscribe and tell us in the comments what's the smallest animal you've ever seen. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Brokisha Mikra Walking the pet store aisles is an adventure. You will find the usual suspects, cats and dogs available for adoption, turtles and snakes. But what if what you're looking for is so small you could barely see it? Chameleons, but tiny, tiny ones. Not only are they half the size of your pinky fingernail, but change colors to blend with your nail polish. This micro lizard from Madagascar was recently discovered. Perhaps the size and color adaptations did not help find it any sooner. If you travel to Madagascar and want to meet one, wait until the night when the micro chameleons are most active. The smallest snake. How afraid are you of snakes? Maybe you will love this one. Being about the size of an earthworm, the Leptotiflops carlei is the smallest snake in the world, with the longest reported to be about 4 inches long. Located in the paradisiac Caribbean island of Barbados, this mighty little snake is often confused with a millipede or a pine needle. Seahorses are bizarre, and the miniature ones are the size of your thumbnail. The pygmy seahorse is a master of camouflage. It was discovered by mistake when a soft coral was being examined in a lab. A really cool characteristic is that it doesn't follow the gender roles of parenthood. The males are the ones that are pregnant for about 11 days. After delivering a team of seahorses, the female pygmy seahorse is ready to give the male another cluster of eggs for him to incubate. And it starts all over again. The Australian Little Penguins Going down under is an experience. The Australian outback with strange and unique animals like the platypus and then New Zealand with carnivore snails. And if you travel on the coastlines of any of those two beautiful islands, you may spot clusters of little penguins no taller than a bowling pin. The larger cousins are as tall as a four-year-old child. Plastic pollution is the major cause of depletion in numbers, as it's a choking hazard. Little penguins confuse plastic with their main food sources, semi-transparent octopus and shrimp. Pygmy Marmoset Coming all the way from the Amazon rainforest, meet the Pygmy Marmoset. It doesn't disappoint in miniature size and overwhelming furry cuteness. The smallest monkey in the world, the length of your index finger. It was the most illegally sold animal exported to China in 2016. During the Asian Year of the Monkey, many pygmy marmosets were purchased by rich Chinese to honor the monkey and, of course, as a wealth symbol. Although illegal to sell wild animals, people got a hold of them and sold each marmoset for about $5,000. What do you think happened to them in 2017 when the monkey was not cool anymore? Pygmy elephant. When we describe something very large, elephant size comes to mind. But what if you're wrong? Imagine meeting an elephant a little smaller than a draft horse. If you ever travel to the Pacific island of Borneo, you may actually encounter one of the many wild pygmy elephants that live in the dense jungle. Travelers go to the exotic island to catch a glimpse of the Pacific Ocean's natural wonders. But the pygmy wild elephants are becoming a very unique and desirable attraction. The smaller cousin to the Asian elephants, these little bite-sized pachyderms were actually originally from Java. Unfortunately, in Java, they became extinct due to hunting and deforestation. 
but not before some specimens were transported across towards Borneo, where they were able to grow into stable herds. Domesticated Miniature Can you imagine having the smallest cat in the world? Meet Mr. Pebbles from Pekin, Illinois. The Guinness Book World of Records deems him as the tiniest domesticated cat at 6.1 inches long, the size of a guinea pig. And there should be no surprise that the smallest breed of dogs is the Chihuahua. Our mascot, Ned, is a Chihuahua. So no guessing there that Boo Boo is a Chihuahua. This one is 4 inches long, the length of a squirrel without counting the tail. No need to have a doggy or kitty purse. Just put them in your pocket and off you go. Mexican Dwarf Crawfish Crawfish, boiled with herbs and spices and served with corn and onions or simply by itself. It's a very popular dish in Louisiana, USA. When it comes to spelling crawfish, it's more recognizable than the international crayfish spelling. Either way you spell it, crayfish are tiny little crustaceans that look like a lobster, and the Mexican dwarf crayfish is the smallest of them all. With a hefty length, half as long as a AAA battery, these tiny crustaceans with razor-sharp claws and a hunting demeanor can be displayed as a desk pet as long as you maintain the water alkalinity. Peg me hippo. Hippopotamus. Even though there's some running free in Colombia, hippos are known for being very aggressive and deadlier than any animal in Africa. Yeah, above lions and cheetahs. Such powerful creatures do have a cuter side. Meet the pygmy hippo. As tall as a Great Dane dog, this little killer machine lives in Liberia, where unfortunately human conflict has caused them to be near extinction. Thank goodness they thrive very well in captivity and the population is very strong. The 30th U.S. President, Calvin Coolidge, got one as a gift from the founder of Firestone Tires. Billy made history since most pygmy hippos in captivity in any zoo in the United States are his descendants. Nudie Branch The ocean is a mystery. We can find anything lurking in the waters, from gigantic animals like whales to the smallest creatures in the planet. One of the smallest creatures found all over the world are the nudie branches, sea slug mollusks, like a snail without a shell. The smallest can be half the length of a USB plug. This minuscule hermaphrodite can come in an assorted rate of colors, from reds to simply all white, and some are even transparent. The color variations are due to the environment and their diet. They eat anything from shrimp to other sea slugs. In Chile and other places around the world, Nuri Branch's bigger cousins are a delicatessen. They can be eaten raw or boiled. I do wonder about the texture. Pea crab. Seafood restaurants offer an incredible array of dishes, from halibut to lobster, oysters, and crabs. The larger, the better. Atlantic oysters, especially the ones caught in the Chesapeake Bay, are one of the most sought out. But within them, we may discover more than we are bargaining for. We may actually find the smallest crabs in the world. Also known as oyster crabs, the pea crab is smaller than an electric socket prong. Almost transparent in color, the smallest crab in the world enjoys living within mollusks, not as parasites, but eating the food ingested by its host. What most children have, besides dogs, are turtles. You can find large turtles that can be the size of a dinner plate, like box turtles. But if tiny is what you're looking for, then Bog turtles are your friend. A well-cared-for captive bog turtle can grow to be about the length of a stick of gum. Although bog turtles are cute and adorable, one thing to keep in mind is that they can live up to 50 years. 
they don't require much space, making them suitable for small apartments. Poodoo. Deer crossing the road. They cause more fatalities during the colder months than drunk drivers alone. Deer are agile and graceful. They can jump very high and be larger than a Great Dane. But if you were to travel to South America, this story can be very different. The South American deer don't like to run in front of cars, and certainly they are not the size of a Great Dane, but the size of a small Labrador. Meet the Pudu, the world's smallest deer. Two species can be found all over the South American continent. With their brown chestnut-colored fur and small antlers, both species of Pudu can be found at different altitudes and wide ranges and thank goodness, although the population has declined, neither one is classified as endangered. Next time you travel to South America, you don't just have to look for llamas or alpacas. See if in the distance you can catch a glimpse of a poodoo herd roaming around in the mountains. The smallest and cutest animals in the world discovered. What would you like to explore next? Thank you for watching. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.